Hickenlooper is responding to critics about his stance on accepting refugees from Syria. The governor says he is open to allowing the refugees to Colorado, but not before they go through a tough vetting process. But tens of thousands of Coloradans have signed a petition demanding he change his mind. Only on Cardio News Channel 13, reporter Eric Fink talks one on one with the governor in Denver. Heather, more than 30 governors want President Obama to halt the migration of Syrian refugees coming into the United States. But Hickenlooper says governors alone don't have that authority. It's against the law that you. I took an oath to obey the law. Governor Hickenlooper says he can't solely act to deny Syrian refugees a path to Colorado. We don't have that power. The Obama administration outlined a plan to accept about 10,000 refugees next year. The opposing governors fear allowing Syrian Muslims here could prove a threat to national security. Would but Governor Hickenlooper uh, calls these country, refugees and... fleeing persecution in Syria our allies. The vast majority of these refugees are women and children and the elderly, and they have either been orphaned or widowed because their father, their cousin, their brother believed in our values. Online, a petition demanding our governor say no to Syrian refugees is exploding with almost 35,000 signatures in 48 hours. And some who oppose the governor, like Jonathan Lockwood, think he's playing politics. For a governor to rush out while everyone else is pumping the brakes, for him to put, you know, pedal to the metal and say we're going to do this and then get hit with a huge backlash. He's as frustrated with people being concerned on this issue as we all are with his decision to do it. Hickenlooper says the vetting process is 12 to 18 months and very strict. We're at war. You've got to recognize this is a war on terrorism. And part of that war is a long-term war, and that decisions about how to win that war are not made from one state to the other. And the strategy that's being... The governor told me that this is a complex issue with no easy solution. And he also says his top priority is and always has been to protect the safety of all Coloradans. We're live tonight in the Broadcast Operations Center. I'm Eric Fink, KRDO News Channel 13. Eric, thank you. Well, finally, the wind 